Hello, Ambassador. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. So welcome to Paraguay territory in Korea. Eh? Thank you very much for being here. Oh, Sanwoo. thank you for inviting us today. No, thank you to Arirán and thank you Sanwoo for being here. Thank, thank you. you. residence is beautiful. No, thank you very much. We try to give also a Paraguay environment. So there are many paintings here. Uh -huh. This, for example, is uh, painted by my wife. This is a dry oh. flower, maybe uh -huh. dry flower. Oh, it's, it's a Paraguayan beautiful. sunset. Oh, it's sunset in Paraguay. In Paraguay, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Here we have also a painting by the famous artist Michael Burr. Uh -huh. And uh, you can see also this uh, uh, important building Paraguay. Oh, okay. This is our Chongwa de. It's our blue oh. blue house. <laughs> Here, Michael Burr paints with very bright very colors. Bold and very bright. bold, uh -huh. bright color. Mm -hmm. So, uh, actually, uh, Michael Burr passed away two years ago. Oh. So now his work are very appreciated, very yes, much appreciated. Sure. And okay. also, we have here from this painting by Hernan Miranda. Hernan Miranda is a hyperrealism artist. Yeah, it but looks actually, like a picture, uh -huh. yeah, not yeah. a painting. <laughs> yes, but actually it's a painting. Uh -huh, yes. uh -huh. Hernan Miranda was here also two, three years ago. Oh. There was an exhibition oh. in 2015 for the 50 year celebration oh, for the Korean migration to Paraguay. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me introduce my wife, Olia. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> um, Ambassador, I see a lot of items here that features Paraguayan culture. Am I right? Yes, that's right. This, for example, is uh, oh. indigenous art. Uh -huh. This is made by the Aboriginal people. Oh. There is about 20 ethnic groups in Paraguay. Oh. And actually also we speak Spanish and Guarani. Oh, Both are I official see. language, uh -huh, so uh -huh. these are made by the yes, Aboriginal. You see the color, very mm -hmm, intense mm -hmm. color also, yes, very. and this uh -huh. made by hand. It takes about 10 days to make one. 10 days to make day. one? Yes, wow, so wow. The uh -huh, uh -huh. And the Nyanduti is our, this is one runner for table. Oh, runner. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, I like uh, it. This is uh, yeah. Nyanduti in white color. And you see in the in our my table clothes yes, is a right. different colors, uh -huh, uh -huh. very very colorful. But uh -huh. there is also the white and the plain color uh -huh, also. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Both Only are in Paraguay, this the Only we Paraguay. made. Only in Paraguay. Yes, yes. The is in Mulai also love, Frenchy and peace. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I see some food here too. Yes, uh -huh. this is a. Uh, the name is uh, Chipawasu in Chipa Paraguayan Wasu. name, uh -huh. but it's um, corn souffle. Oh, I see. It's not cake, it's because it's too soft and half a cheese, eggs, onion. Okay. It's very, very it's salty. It's not sweet. Oh, I see. And this one is Payagua Mascada, Guarani name, uh -huh. in the language Guarani. Uh -huh. Uh, but it's a, a pancake, like a pancake with the beef, beef ground yeah. beef, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. and we take in Paraguay like a snack. Oh, uh, so I this see. is a uh -huh. very, very delicious too. Uh -huh. And this is our <laughs> famous chipa. Uh -huh. Chipa is like a bread. Oh, I see. Can I taste some of your food? Of course. <laughs> yes. I, I it's too soft. Now it's already cold. It's, it's mm -hmm. better uh, hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, very okay. delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, very. very. Like mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I make here. Yeah, Korea, I made by myself. <laughs> and I heard that you got an award for your. Food? Yes, mm -hmm. and that was two years ago also there was a contest mm -hmm. uh, among more than 100 embassies wow. here in Seoul. Uh -huh. uh, my wife uh, won the first prize. Uh -huh. you, uh -huh. you see there the trophy, 
Oh, the, yes, the, I do. <laughs> using the ginseng. Ginseng. Ginseng uh -huh. powder and uh -huh. root in the preparation of the chipaguasu. Oh, uh -huh. And also in the root here, root in, in the, the payawa mascara. I want to show you also our traditional oh, beverage. Is this is oh. terere. As you, you know that Paraguay is in the tropic, right. so most uh -huh. of the time it's hot weather. Uh -huh. So we drink this uh, cold beverage. And always we use uh, the, some leaves, some uh -huh. herbs. Uh -huh. In this case, uh, men herb, uh -huh. men Mint. leaf. And also yerba mate, mate tea. Mate, oh, mate yerba mate tea. Yeah, it is very yes. famous for dietary. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah uh -huh, for purpose here. Very famous because it's good for digestion. Mm, digestion. Mm -hmm. And the thing with the terere is that we share all together in the family uh -huh. with the same straw. Only one straw. That means also a brotherhood. Oh, I see. And trust uh -huh. on each other. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And also friendship. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. Son, I want to invite you uh -huh. our terere. Uh-huh, yes. It's a uh, very oh, thank you. delicious mm -hmm. beverage, very cold. It's wow. like a mint mm -hmm. tea. Mm -hmm. It's very refreshing. Yes, uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. yes. Mm. Mm. It's really good. You like uh -huh. it? Yes, yes, I like <laughs> it. Uh <-huh. laughs> Um, Ambassador, thank you so much for all your preparation today. Um, shall we move on and continue our conversation? Yes. Um, so, I know that you were appointed as the Paraguayan Ambassador to Korea in 2015, but what was the most impressive to me is you are not only the Paraguayan ambassador to Korea, but also to Philippines, Cambodia, Singapore, and Mongolia at the same time. But since your current place of residence is here in Korea, how do you perform all the tasks at the same time? Thank you, Sanu, for this important question. Uh, indeed, Paraguay now has a more active role in the international community and also now it's trying to diversify its relationship in the international arena and its present in Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, Korea is an important uh, strategic alliance for Paraguay, but we are also trying to uh, have more contacts with other nations. That's why it's very important to reach to the people from mm -hmm. Singapore, Mongolia, the Philippines and Cambodia mm -hmm. uh, as well. We have uh, here a, a small embassy, let's say, only six people to perform all the duties you, you mentioned, uh, but we have a very strong and very good teamwork. So this job is not easy without the support of the team mm -hmm. the, at the embassy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now let's talk about our bilateral re relations. Uh, we officially established our diplomatic ties in 1962 and um, I know that Paraguay to be the first ever country in South America to officially accept Korean immigrants. And what were the reasons that Paraguay administration decided to do this in 1965 when it was only three years after we established our diplomatic ties? Paraguay always supports South Korea. During the war, even also support uh, with some aid. And after the war, when, when we started the diplomatic relations, as you mentioned, in 1962, we have a very strong and um, trying to forge a close relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's why in, when the government decided mm -hmm. to have this uh, migration agreement in 1965, we received with the open heart and open heart to the Korean, the first Korean group to arrive in Paraguay in uh, 54 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in, in April, in April 1965. Um, at that time, Paraguay was small population, less than two million people oh. at that mm -hmm. time. 
And as you know, Paraguay is four times bigger compared in territory mm, right. compared to South mm -hmm, Korea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have plenty of space. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's why we welcome at that time to the Korean people. Mm -hmm. And also they support us and, and work with us in order to have a, a more developed country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just mentioned it was April and Paraguay designated actually April 22nd as a national day to honor the country's Korean immigrants. I've heard that this is the first time for the Paraguayan government to designate a special day to commemorate foreign immigrants in the country. Um, could you tell us a bit more about this? Place? Yes, uh, you, you are right. The Korea's Day in Paraguay is April 22nd. So every year we are trying to have uh, cultural activities in order to have more, uh, more knowledge about the Korean people and, and traditions. And the, the Korean people actually are very well received in the Paraguayan audience. And we celebrate this day as a special, a special moment of our relationship. Mm -hmm. And also in trying to remember how difficult it was mm -hmm. for the first Korean migrants to leave uh, their own country and go to very far for their country mm -hmm. and to start a new life. As a Paraguayan, we try to give them also a home, mm -hmm. a home. Mm -hmm. that, that's why we admire to the Korean people and also to the first Korean group mm -hmm. that arrived to Paraguay. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we understand the was very difficult for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Korea chose Paraguay as the main cooperative partner on ODA. Um, in what fields are the two parties collaborating? The Korean cooperation is one of the biggest and one of the most important cooperation that Paraguay received from foreign country. And we are working with COICA uh, in, in many fields. Mm -hmm. For example, in the health sector, mm -hmm. and also education sector, agriculture sector, and technological issues as well. Mm -hmm. And also in, in the aviation, in the air navigation field, uh, we are working on that. Uh, one of the last projects also we are working in is the uh, urbanization. Mm -hmm. and planification, that's mm -hmm. uh, city planification mm -hmm. in a smart city mm -hmm. and e-government. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have many fields where uh, Paraguay is, re is receiving the Korean cooperation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. Um, not long ago, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs Chu se Young had met with his Paraguayan counterpart when he was visiting Seoul. And I've heard that they talked about ways in which Korea and Mercosur trade agreement would contribute to the volume of bilateral trade and investment. Could you tell us more about it, please? Yeah, this is an important area where uh, Paraguay is trying to, to have an increased relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, trade is a very, very important, uh, not only for Korea, but for Paraguay. And also, as Paraguay is part of Mercosur, and we start this negotiation process, and this year we have the second round of negotiation in order to try to, to have a FTA, a free trade mm -hmm, agreement, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully for next year. And this negotiation uh, is very important for Paraguay because with this free trade agreement, when we conclude, uh, we can have more Paraguayan products in the Korean market. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Korean product also will have more opportunities or in Mercosur market. Paraguay is trying to give opportunity to the Korean uh, communi business community in order to, to use Paraguay as a platform 
uh, and so can reach to the larger market in South America. Mm -hmm. South America is a, a market of about 500 million consumers. Mm -hmm. So it's a very huge mm -hmm. market. It is. Mm -hmm. And Paraguay would like to have a stronger relation, relationship with Korea in this area mm -hmm. because we'll be benefit both sides. It's a win-win situation. Right, right. Yeah. Um, despite Korea and Paraguay celebrating its more than 50 years of friendly relations, many Koreans still think of Paraguay as an unfamiliar country. Uh, what kind of efforts are being made by the embassy to promote Paraguay in Korea? We are trying to promote also many activities in different areas. Cultural field, for example, we have uh, some musician mm -hmm. coming from Paraguay. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we have the Ismael Ledesma, is an international well-known harpist. Mm -hmm. He performed here in Korean Foundation in March of this year. And also we have uh, more than 20 Paraguayan students at the Korean University. And we have also Korean students uh, that go to Paraguay to have some volunteer, volunteer activities. And now we are trying also to, to have more uh, company from Korea in my country. And also the trade volume, uh, we are trying to increase year by year. Yeah, so these are also very important right. uh, issues in, mm -hmm. order, in order to, to have uh, uh, more knowledge about each country, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that the Paraguayan people know more about the mm. Korean people, mm -hmm. and also the Korean people do know more about the Paraguayan people. Mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, actually, I've heard that you were a part of a very special event to promote Paraguay in Korea. Um, you had visited a primary school here, and our team was also there, so let's take a look. On June 25th, a special class was held at an elementary school in Seoul. This class was led by Ambassador Silbero. But why has he decided to leave the embassy and become a teacher for the day? It is also a great opportunity to know also for them about the culture of Paraguay, gastronomy, also the people of Paraguay, that even though the geographic distance, we have a very strong friendship with the Korean people. The kids are not very familiar with either the country of Paraguay or the role of diplomats. Uh, it's Ambassador Silbero's first time teaching elementary school, so he might be a little excited and nervous saying his first hellos. Y yo espero que en algún momento ustedes también puedan visitar Paraguay y así conocer un poco más de ese gran país. The class begins and it's at just the right level for elementary school students. Ambassador Silvero introduces his country in a way that captures the kids' attention with its unique culture and food. Y acá nosotros comemos mucha carne porque tenemos muchas vacas en Paraguay. And he also shares his experience as an ambassador and the roles of the embassy. Once the class is over, there's a quiz. The students can win prizes from Paraguay if they answer the questions correctly. So they're eager to get involved. <laughs> 나라 같은 걸 조금 좋아하는데 파라가이라는 나라는 조금 되게 처음 들어보는 나라이기도 하고 잘 모르는 나라였는데 잘 알게 돼서 좋았어요. 어, 파라가이 인구가 소보다 적다 그랬는데 소가 얼마나 많은지 궁금해요. 자연이 그때 잘 보존돼 있고 환경이 좀 깨끗하다는 걸 알았어요. 여름 방학에 꼭 가보고 싶어요. For Ambassador Silvero, it's been a successful first day as a teacher. 
and we hope the kids will remember today's event for a long time to come. The, the children are very curious about Paraguay and for, for me also I I am very grateful that I can talk about Paraguay and also the children to know a little bit more about my country. Um, Ambassador, what kind of country do you want the students to think of Paraguay after listening to your seminar? I would like the, the Korean students think about Paraguay that is a friendly country, mm -hmm. good place to to, to live mm -hmm. in, and actually more than 45 people from mm, the, the very different national origin mm -hmm. are living in Paraguay. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I think that the most important issue for uh, to, to be known by the Korean students is that the Paraguay is uh, open always, uh, is hard and arms mm -hmm. to the foreigners. Uh -huh. um, Ambassador, I heard that Paraguay is a beautiful country. Could you tell us hidden charms in Paraguay, please? Paraguay is a, a beautiful country. There are many natural beauties, and also we have a world heritage site in the Jesuit ruins in in the southern part of the country. Mm -hmm. We have Asuncion de Capital also is a very traditional and historic uh, city, so where you can see many traditional streets, museums, mm -hmm. and places uh -huh. where, the, where to visit. We have a, a fauna and flora also uh, very, very amazing. And there are many foreigners that go to Paraguay to see, to watch birds. The birds oh. watch uh -huh. in Paraguay is a, a wonderful activity. Uh -huh. Also fishing. If you like the river, we have plenty of river where to fish, mm -hmm. for example. So there are many, many sites to visit there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Um, Ambassador, I think this is my last question. Um, is there anything that you would absolutely like to achieve during your term as the Paradigm Ambassador to Korea? We are thinking that for the next years, we need to even deeper our relationship with Korea. Uh, in this sense, we would like also to sign an agreement uh, in order to have a, a stronger strategic alliance uh, between Paraguay and Korea, Korea and Paraguay. And we are working on that. We are working in the cooperation sector where we can also have a mutual, mutual benefit. And we need in Paraguay more investments from the Korean side. We are trying to give them to the Korean companies uh, legal stability and also guarantee in a very good access to the market, not only in Paraguay, but also in the Mercosur countries. And we think that the Korean company can take opportunities of this situation. That's why one of my main challenges yes, is to have more Korean companies investing in Paraguay. Mm -hmm. um, Ambassador, thank you very much for your time today. And we're really looking forward to your future activities here in Korea. Thank you very much for you being here. And also thank you for, uh, to Arirang for this opportunity. <laughs>